so let's talk about uh, brush in Lightroom 5 develop module so uh, this is a shortcut for brush you will find here then click on here then you will get all same options like grad filter radial filter here and some more options you will find here uh, like size feather flow and density and uh, if you click here then you will see the brush then you can adjust your brush size by rotating this mouse center button like this if you want to do the same thing from the from the menu then it is the option for size suppose I want this size and I want to boost uh, I want to boost exposure then go to X custom then click on exposure then I will apply here uh, so here is one option uh, one shortcut key on the keyboard that is O O means overlay and uh, if you want to see the effect of the brush then you can see here so this is the effect for that particular brush uh, here is the red if I want to uh, if I don't want any uh, any effect in the bottom of the image and press alt key on the keyboard then you will get minus button otherwise you will get plus button uh, so I don't want any effect in the bottom part of the image and then I will apply brush like this red means that uh, this is the area that you have applied a brush on this area in red area if you click again on the uh, O button in the keyboard then it will hide O means overlay this is just for your notification that this is the area that uh, uh, that you have applied brush on this red segment like this so I want to boost exposure so this is the only area that the uh, that I have applied a brush now click on done and then I will choose one another brush click on here now again I want to do the same thing but here I want to boost exposure I want to boost more exposure Now I will readjust the size. Uh, if I click on O button in the keyboard, then you will find the red overlay. That means this uh, brush is applied on the only in the this right segment. Click on O. So one option you will find here like uh, auto mask suppose uh, if I want to boost the exposure in the, this and this building if I click here then you will find out that uh, uh, I'm boosting the exposure of the building but I am also boosting the exposure of the cloud behind so control Z to undo now click on auto mask now adjust the brush uh, adjust the size of the brush according to the building now apply it will automatically found the edges around the building and uh, it will apply only exposure to the building only if you click O then you will find out here the very nice selection done by the auto mask click on O so if you want to reduce the feather feather means the hardness of the brush then you can choose here and density how much the result you want very high result then more density you will choose if you want to low effect in the uh, in the brush then choose the choose the density low like uh, if I choose brush here again 
with the low density suppose click on here and uh, low density uh, unmark this then click O on the keyboard so this red part is very very low if I do the hundred now the red color is very high means if I want more effect on this particular segment by using brush that means it is you can say the opacity for the for that particular brush like Photoshop it is it is working as opacity transparency of the brush the effect of the brush on that any particular area moreover uh, click on here to delete Hit delete on the keyboard now I will choose color I want uh, some, uh, blue shade in the clouds so exposure I have set to zero red means overlay and uh, I will click O on the keyboard that you will find here the blue shade Uh, it is because of this blue shade and you can change it anytime I've chosen this blue shade so in this way you can you can choose your brush and edit your brush like if you want to edit this brush then click on here and you can choose or you can edit your brush